Hey everybody, this is Mr. Evil Cheese and Zombie Cat, and we're here to review the NECA figure from Diablo. Diablo? Diablo. Diablo Three. 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 The Lord of Terror. And that's a big figure, but it's really cool. It's very pointy. Mhm. Mm he has lots of different ways to poke your eyes out, and I think it's a she. And it looks like boobies. Yeah, I think it's a she. But it seems like when they say Lord, it sounds like a guy's name. Lord of Terror sounds like a man. But maybe that's just being sexist. I don't know. <coughs> Isn't a female Lord called something else? A lady. Well, look at that picture on the back. Oh, crap. That's ridiculous looking. I wish it had light up stuff. That'd be really cool. Maybe they'll make like a fourth scale version with a light up That body. would be very awesome. Mm -hmm. If that thing was fourth scale, people would be getting impaled on it with all them spikes sticking up. <laughs> oh, this is one of those figures that reminds me of the reason that I bought it reminds me of the reasons that I bought a lot of the old McFarland figures was that I bought it just because it looks freaking cool! Like all them Tortured Soul figures and a bunch of the Spawn characters, I had no idea who they were. They were just awesome looking, so I bought them. Never played Diablo. Me neither. My cousin, I remember, played it and tried to get me to play it. I just never did. A couple of our friends, too. Yeah. But that figure looks amazing, and I don't care what it's from. I want it, because it's awesome looking. It's really nice, nicely detailed and crazy and scary looking, and I like it. Yep. <laughs> me too. Well, time to open it up. <laughs> there she is, all opened up. Beautiful. Still assuming it's a she, I think it is. Well, ours is a she, even if the character isn't. Yeah, because I don't care what the character is. This thing is just cool looking. Look and at that booty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that tail's fucking awesome. It is. Like I, like she was saying right after opening it, it's just like one of the coolest parts of it is this freaking tail. Which you could hardly see it in the package, like, because it's behind. And he pulled it out, I'm like, that's fucking awesome! <laughs> it reminds me of the alien still. Alien queen. And those spikes on the back look cooler from behind. There's, like, more than I thought there was. Yeah, there's lots of spikes. This person, like, probably has trouble getting through doorways. Um, I'm pretty sure doorways just explode as she walks through them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she probably doesn't do good at birthday parties with kids and popping balloons by accident and stuff. Stabbing eyes out. Yeah, there's probably like a kid stuck in every spike when she leaves. She's like, oh man, I, I just, I was just trying to make some friends. And I got kids stuck all over my spikes. Damn They're it. all screaming. <laughs> I know. What is that one weird kid who's like, ooh, that's cool. And his mommy smacks him and says, don't be a weirdo, kid. <laughs> and uh, it says on the package like 25 points of articulation and it seems like there's more because there's so many things. I mean you got the bendy tail, super bendy, and you got the knee there and then this other sort of knee thing there. Then there's the ankle and it moves at the hips, then it moves at the torso, the head moves, and then the jaw moves, and it moves at the elbow, moves at the shoulder, moves at the wrist, and then this arm moves at the, at the shoulder, at the elbow, and this spike moves back here, and these little thingies on her shoulder moves. So this seems like a lot more than 25, but maybe not, if you added them all. It's gotta be more than 25, but just... Counting takes too long. Yeah, I don't feel like counting right now. The paint job on this is really cool too. I'm gonna switch the light here for that though. Okay, now you can see the paint job. And you see all the yellow is supposed to be like the glowing light coming out of it, which kind of works. I actually wish it would light up, but I think that'd be almost possible on a figure this tiny. Yeah, it'd probably make it fragile too. Mm. But it's so freaking detailed. Look at all the little spikes. Look at them hips. Yeah. There's like all them spikes and all them little bumps all over. This thing is just very cool looking. And these. Like spiky things up here are just so much detail on them. Like every one of them's got all kinds of like layers to them. They're pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They actually look like like growing horn. And there's like spines with red in between them. 
That's cool. And these shoulder things are like their own little mouths. I wonder if she has to feed them. Like, here, shoulder. I need to feed you. And she's like, no! You don't get as much because you've been eating too much lately, so lately, soldier, soldier, shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and then her mouth is kind of crooked. Like when you put it up all the way, it's crooked. But that might not be the same on yours, just the one that I happen to get. It seemed like the other ones at the store were all kind of like that. This is a little bit crooked. It might be able to adjust it, I don't know, I didn't try really. It doesn't seem to want to adjust. But oh well. She almost kind of reminds me of like a mixture between a hammerhead shark and a porcupine and some kind of crab. <laughs> That's a lot of things. And a demon. And the alien queen? Eh, a little bit. The tail and the legs. And the extra arms. You know what? Extra mouth. Well, she's got two extra mouths, though. They're not in the right place. So. And the boobies. You're a booby. She's got booby plates. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> <laughs> she's also got Baraka things. Sort of. Baraka claws. Or... Barack Obama? Yeah, Barack Obama claws. <laughs> Baraka Obama. Man, this thing's just freaking cool. It's like I can't stop spinning around looking at all of it. There's just too much to look at. It's it is pretty awesome. I know. Yeah, our feet all messed up now. <laughs> I've seen it the preview. They also got a blue version coming out. It's Ooh. like a dark blue. It looks pretty cool, too. I'll probably get it. Because this is just awesome. It's a freaking awesome figure. Well, you can have the red one. The blue one can be mine. Fine. <laughs> well, you got like a million toys more than me. <laughs> well, I'm the toy person. I'm a toy person too. Oops. You just bogart them all. Yeah. Sure. You weren't a toy person before me though. I had toys, just not very many. <laughs> but that was mostly because I was poor. But uh, these things look like they should come off. I wonder if they do. I don't know. They are like almost look like their own little creatures that would come off and attack people. Maybe they do in the game. Doesn't seem like it wants to come off on the toy though. And I'm not going to try it. But man, this thing is freaking awesome! I just... Eh. The face... Like, go the ahead. video is just not going to do it justice. You have to see it in person to realize just how much detail goes into it. Well, actually, not even in person. you got to open the thing and see yeah. it in person. Because it looks way better out of the package. Because in mm -hmm. the package, you, the tail wasn't attached. And you couldn't see... Like, I couldn't even tell that there was extra arms. Because they were hidden behind the front arms. Man, you have to have, like, have it in your hand. In the back. To realize. You can't see the back in the package. And the back is one of the best parts. The tail on the back and the spines and everything is awesome. Seeing it from the side and seeing all these little spikes, you can't really see them in the package too well. So, you gotta see this thing out of the package. It's just awesome. And it's got a crazy scully face with a glowing eyes and a glowing nostril. Dude, I'm pretty sure if she headbutted somebody, they would almost certainly die. Mm-hmm. Instantly. <laughs> now I'm picturing you having a voice like, Meh, you see? <laughs> I now I'm about you. I get out my Tommy gun. Because I don't need all these spikes and things to kill people. I'll use a Tommy gun instead. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> she could hold like four Tommy guns. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe two. Since you probably would need to use two hands. She rested on her spikes. Oh, well, yeah. Here's a size comparison. Since this kind of reminds me of the aliens, and this one's red, just like she is. So, it's about the same size as, like, a NECA alien figure. Maybe they can have babies and, I don't know, make some even more ridiculously crazy-looking monster. It's going to have a really long, dildo-shaped spiky head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably have like a dildo with mohawk spikes. Painful looking dildo head. This keeps unfocusing. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Cool. So, I guess I'll just do more close up shots of all this stuff because there's just so much stuff to look at. There's a the little alien spiky tail. <laughs> Looks like a centipede. That's pretty cool. There's the 
leg spikes. I'm sure there's no bumpies on her legs. They're all colored and really cool. Mm hmm. No charred looking. Mm hmm. this little plate thing on her hip. This thing's awesome. It's a magma monster. Magma. Magma. Boobish. <laughs> or what we assume to be boobies. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to have so many people correcting me on this. Like, don't you know what that is? Don't you know? Don't you know everything about a game you just said you never played? Don't you? Why are you reviewing a toy of a game you never played? Well, I just told you the lie because I think it's a freaking awesome toy. That's why. But yeah, that's about it for the figure. It is just amazingly detailed. The paint job's really awesome. And articulation, like everything about this thing is freaking awesome. I agree. So uh, yeah, that's Mr. Evil Cheese and I think this figure is freaking amazing. And if you see it, you should grab one because it's awesome. Yeah, I love it. I'm, gonna... and I'm Zombie Cat and I think this toy is really, really fucking cool. You sound like Stuart. Shut up. Um, Look what I can do. Uh, I'm not doing anything because nobody's moving me. Damn it. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye. What the hell was this thing? What, who let the... I think I pooped myself. <laughs> oh, she also comes with a stand. Not too many NECA toys come with stands, but this one does. So that works out pretty good. I like that. I like stands. They're very helpful. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh, damn it!